Hello everyone. Welcome to SAP Now Virtual Experience. I'm Ashwati Anil Kumar, Solution Advisor, Success Factors. In today's session, we're going to cover how you can boost your employee productivity in a remote working environment. If you have questions during the session, please post them in the chat below. I'm also sharing my contact details if you would like to reach out to me later on. So enjoy today's session. With the new normal work situation, organizations find it difficult to keep track of what their employees are working on. Managers don't have that visibility, which is required for them to understand how busy their employees are to assign them with additional tasks. So as we go through these challenging times, we would like to show you how our solutions can help you get that visibility into your employees' productivity. I'm going to cover this from two perspectives. First, when an employee is working individually on his set of activities, and secondly, when employees jointly work on certain activities, initiatives, or projects. In the first scenario, with success factors continuous performance management, employees can keep track of their activities and give visibility to their managers about what they are executing on, what their work priorities are, and what progress they are making. Employees can as well capture a life summary of their achievements to automatically create a self-assessment that they can reference and discuss with their manager at any time. Secondly, in the current situation, when we have the entire workforce connected remotely, this requires a lot of collaboration. In this scenario, we will look at how employees can work together on various activities and get their job done. With SAP Jam, we are able to connect people, information, and processes all in one place. Let's start with the first scenario now. I've logged into the system as a manager, and as soon as I log into my system, I get real-time insights into what my team is doing in terms of activity, what are their achievements, and what is their check-in meeting summary. Let's go a bit more deep into what exactly are these dashboards showing. To begin with, I would start with my team's activity. This gives me the list of activities that my team is working on with various status or priorities. So I can see that there are a couple of activities or even more with a medium status. I can see that the completed activities are comparative less and it's only one. So I would like to see who has completed that activity and it shows me that Jada has completed an activity which is basically conducting a program delivery with a schedule. I can also see other details like what is the date which is it was created, when was it modified. I also have the ability to download this report to look further details. So that was a quick snapshot on my team's activity. Now, I also have visibility into my team's achievement summary. I would like to have a look in to see what exactly is this. So I can see that there are two achievements which Jada has recorded, and I can see when she has created that achievement and what exactly is the achievement. Similarly, I can also see what Faith has recorded. So this gives me a quick understanding on the number of achievements, what each of my team members are providing, and at the same time, to see who of the people are actually recording the achievements, and I see certain my, of my team members are missing from the summary. Now, let's also look into my next dashboard, which is a check-in meeting summary. So this is basically giving me information on the check-in meetings that I do with my team members. So I can see all my list of team members and the number of team, uh, sorry, the check-in meetings that I've done with my team. And at the same time, this will also trigger notifications if I fail to do my check-in meetings after a specific period of time. So it is quite important and there's a great capability for you in the current situation to make sure that your managers are supporting your employees and staying in contact with them. Now, let's 
look a bit more into the details on how exactly are these activities being tracked and how me as a manager can look in for information, get updates and request for uh, updates and status. So I have my team visibility here. So I can see all my list of team members. So Anson, he is on my team and I can see the activities which he is working on. All I believe are in medium or uh, probably going well. So I don't see any indications. I can look at my other team members as well. So I see that Ben is having one activity, activity which is probably at high risk. Then I would like to look into Jada as I already have seen that she has recorded two achievements and she has one activity which is already completed. Now, let me go and look into what Jada has got to uh, do and what her status updates looks like. All right, so now I have actually landed on the activity tracker of Jada and I see that she has a couple of activities which she has already listed. To begin with, discuss the items in the risk register that is one of her activity, which is at medium priority. And she has provided an update for that risk training scheduled for April. So as a manager, I would like to ask her for an update, which dates in April. Okay. So as soon as I do that, I would also want that information to be sent as soon as possible to me because I have a couple of people whom I would like to enroll for that training. So I'm going to mark this as important. Now, I can also see some of the other items, have a meeting with the team regarding the new program management guidelines. Okay, meeting scheduled for next month. So there are a lot of different things that Jada is working on and I can see her status updates as well. Okay, so that is something which I had not posted, but I've now posted an update and you can see that here. Going further down, I see reviewing the new equipment documentation. I can also ask for an update or go further down. So this is how I can actually look into what Jada has recorded as her activities. Now, me as a manager also has the ability to go and add a new activity for Jada. Probably that is something which I want her to probably, you know, carry out. So probably I would set her an activity saying set up a weekly meetings with the team. So I know that Jada has a couple of people reporting to her as well. So I'm going to do that as an activity for her and with medium priority. I also have the ability here to link that activity to my performance goal or my development goal. But this is not required or a mandatory thing to do. This is purely optional. But if you are an organization who has already implemented performance or development module, you have the ability to tie this activity to your performance goal or your development goal. I can save this activity here, which goes back to her activity tracker. And I can further come down and see if she has listed any topics that she would like to discuss with me. Now, since all of us are connected remotely, I would like to still, you know, keep contact or stay in touch with my reportees. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give a call right away to Jada and discuss on a couple of things. So as soon as I give her a call and discuss the topics that I would want to or the other topics which were listed below, I can make sure that I have captured this meeting so that all our meeting notes are going to be recorded here. Now, for the next meeting, there are a couple of other things that I would like to ask her as well, which we couldn't cover today. And one of them is most importantly, are you facing any challenges in the current work setup? It could be any questions or it could be 
uh, even how are you doing so you know with the new situation you can even ask questions and the good thing is that even Jada comes to know what topics are going to be discussed in our next one-to-one -one. so I'm going to add this topic which I'm going to discuss in our next one-to-one -one. and apart from all that I can also provide Jada some coaching so I can tell her what's that she is doing really well and at the same time what can she improve so I might want to also you know motivate her with certain things that she is doing so I might want to say that your newsletters your newsletters sorry for that a bit of typo your newsletters are really nice now I can also say that something which she needs to improve and maybe you know I will do that at a later point of time but I still have the option to do that so now you can see that I have asked Jada for an update on one of her activity I have added a new activity which she needs to carry out I've done her one-on-one -on -one meeting with her and captured that in my tracker and I can also get to see what were the you know meeting notes that was captured on this specific day so it gives me that these are the topics that we discussed so you see that in today's meeting the new topic that I discussed has not literally come up so that would probably come in our next meeting because the topic was added later now I see that there is achievements for Jada which I had already seen and I can also go and look into further details of that so I can see achievements over a period of time and I can also set up new achievement for Jada so describe the achievement so I would say well done with your new initiative of a b c d okay and achievement date so i'm putting it as of today and i can link that to the activity so it could be you know she is reviewing the new equipment documentation and providing meaningful feedback on some changes so i could do that here and again as I mentioned previously you can always have the option to tie that to your performance de and development goal and this is not mandatory at all so it is just an option it is up to you if you would want to do that so I'm going to save this and this achievement then gets reflected on Jada's achievement list now the next thing that I see here is the feedback so I have the ability to request feedback so in certain cases I know that my team members work with other managers or other teams as well so I'm I know that Jada was working closely with Ben and I would like to ask Ben for a feedback for Jada since you so there is already some pre-configured text so you, since it's already there I'm just going to utilize this and send this out to Ben so that he is going to provide feedback on Jada and this would come back and sit in the feedback so that I can review the same I can also see the other feedback request which has been sent out so I can see that there was another one which was sent to Jackie which is still pending and I see the latest one which I have requested to Ben so that's about the feedback request and finally me as a manager also has the ability to give feedback and being a manager with many team members I can provide feedback to the team in total so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to provide a team feedback so I'm going to provide this to Jada to Ben and maybe James as well so yes here you go 
So I've added all the list of my team members to whom I need to provide feedback and I'm going to share my feedback below. You did amazingly well. Keep it up. Okay, so this is the feedback that I'm going to send to all of them for their amazing work. And you can see that the feedback that I have provided has again come up on the top for Jada. So this is a quick snapshot on how me as a manager can go and look into their activities, record achievements, provide feedback, request feedback as well. Okay, so now let's move on to the next scenario which is basically on how we can enhance the experience of employees who are working jointly on projects in this current remote work situation. So this is our SAP Jam collaboration platform. And what you see here is a dedicated group that we have set up for this particular project called Reshaping Employment. So this is basically how the project lead has set up this particular jam group. So this is a very simple structure that we have followed here, but it's completely up to you how you would want to set up this jam group and based on what are the activities that you would like to showcase. So to begin with, what we have given here is a set of completed activities. So this is all the tasks which has already been done for this project. I can see what is the ongoing task which has been assigned to people and which they're supposed to complete. I've also put a placeholder for the latest news. So this could be any communication which can come from the top management or any instruction which is provided in which direction we should take up the project and all of those details. So basically any news that the project lead wants to communicate with the rest of the team members. I can also see a discussion forum where I have already asked a question last week on what type of resources do we need. So I can see all of this here and just like any other social platform, we also have a wall where people can actually post things or ask questions, upload documents and all of that. Now, the next area that you see on the, pay, uh, on the group is the meetings and decisions. So this is a dedicated space that we have put to capture all our weekly meeting uh, minutes. So it could be the presentations that we used or any documents that was discussed during the meetings or any decisions. That is what we are capturing under this space. There is also another space where we are going to have our complete repository of project status reports. So this is just an example on how you can actually set up this group to have all your information very well structured. The next thing that I can see is basically a page to show all the team members and who is the project lead. So it could even be if you have coordinators, if you have facilitators, you can see all of that information on this dedicated page. And at the same time, we have also been given another group which we can reach out or look into because this is a similar project which has been uh, going on in the organization. I can go and visit that particular group to get more information or clarify questions. So this is basically how the group has been set up and this is just an example and you also get templates on group creation. Now, going back to the main page, I already saw that there were certain ongoing tasks that I need to complete. And one of them is to submit my resource request. So I'm actually going to go into my content folder and submit my resource request. So I can see the folder here and I'm going to upload my resource request. So I'm just going to take a file that is my resource request and I can also say if that needs to be published in the feed update so that rest of my team members come to know about it 
or I can just pull that off. So I'm going to show that in the feed update. So the rest of my team members come to know that I'm working on this particular task and I'm going to upload this. All right. OK, so that has been uploaded. So now I can very well go and mark that particular task as completed. So I'm going to go back into my main page and mark this task as completed. So I'm going to click on this task and I'm going to say that I have completed this and I'm going to ask Jeff. Okay, Jeff comes up. Can you please update? Okay, so I'm going to notify Jeff to update his status request. Uh, sorry, uh, the resource request. Okay, now I also have certain new tasks that I would like to put it up because I want the team to start thinking about it. So I'm going to do uh, prepare the milestone checklist to be presented to the steering committee okay so i'm just going to put that i can assign people so i'm going to put maybe carla for that okay i can assign more people and i'm going to give a due date which is going to be end of the month and i'm going to set her a weekly reminder with high priority i can also attach uh, any documents that i have but as of now i'm just going to make this task assigned to her so this is in nutshell how you can actually use sap jam collaboration platform to work together on activities get insights and get your work done. Thank you for attending the session. Hope it was useful and informative. I'm available in the chat room to continue the conversations there. We can also schedule a call anytime to discuss further. Thank you once again.